In this video, we will be discussing the dorsal innervation of the hand and the extensor muscles of the forearm and hand. Let's start by orienting our prosection. I have with me here a right arm. This side is my radial or lateral side. This side is my ulnar or medial side. We have the hand more distally and the forearm and elbow more proximally. Finally, what we're looking at here is the posterior face of the forearm. Let's start by discussing the dorsal cutaneous innervation of the hand. What we mean by cutaneous innervation is innervation to the skin. While the skin has been removed here in this prosection, we will discuss dorsal innervation as if the skin were intact. What three nerves supply the dorsal innervation of the hand? And what regions are they specifically responsible for? The three nerves that supply the dorsal innervation of the hand are the ulnar nerve, median nerve, and radial nerve. The ulnar nerve specifically is responsible for the little finger and the area more proximally on the hand and the ulnar half of the ring finger and the area more proximally on the hand. If we were to draw a line from here to here, the median nerve is responsible for the areas more distal to this line. So the distal fingertips of the index finger, middle finger, and the radial half of the ring finger. The radial nerve supplies the areas of the hand that are more proximal to this line that we drew originally here. So the radial nerve supplies the proximal ends of the index finger, middle finger, the radial half of the ring finger, the areas on the hand proximally, and the dorsal side of the thumb. Moving on to the cutaneous innervation of the forearm more proximally to the wrist, what two nerves are responsible for cutaneous innervation here? The two nerves that are responsible for cutaneous innervation more proximally to the wrist are the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm and the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm. The medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm supplies this region here, while the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm supplies this region here. As you may remember, the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm originates from the musculocutaneous nerve, which branches off the brachial plexus. Let's now discuss the extensor muscles of the forearm and hand. There are six extensor muscles. What are the three extensor muscles of the wrist? Meaning, they allow for extension of the wrist. The three extensor muscles of the wrist are extensor carpi ulnaris, extensor carpi radialis longus, and extensor carpi radialis brevis. Here, we have extensor carpi ulnaris. Here, we can see two tendons. Which tendon is this? This is the tendon of extensor carpi radialis longus, which always lies lateral or radial to the tendon of extensor carpi radialis brevis seen here. What are the three extensor muscles that allow for extension of the fingertips? The three extensor muscles that allow for extension of the fingertips are extensor digitorum communis, extensor indices, and extensor digiti minimi. Let's start with extensor digitorum communis. We can see 
its muscle belly more proximally here. And we then see it branching into multiple tendons that progress towards each of the individual four fingers. So, if I were to tug on this tendon here, we see extension of the ring finger in particular. This tendon seen here is extensor indices. The extensor indices tendon allows for extension of the index finger and always lies ulnar or medial to its extensor digitorum communis counterpart, seen here. Similarly, extensor digiti minimi, seen here, allows for extension of the little finger and always lies ulnar or medial to its extensor digitorum communis counterpart, seen here.